Hey, this is Diane, Sales Manager at Girls and Builders. Thank you for joining me today. If you looked at our last video, we referenced acquiring land and the importance of finding the right city for you to build on. Let's say that you've already made that decision. The next step is to narrow down the top three to five land parcels that you like the most and then letting either our team or your realtor do some due diligence on your behalf. Once you have the lot under contract, you also have a feasibility period or an inspection period. During that period, we encourage you to do testing on the soil to make sure that it's stable enough for the construction of a home. We also encourage you to do any studies you see necessary, whether it's a tree survey, a preserved area management plan, or checking for endangered species. There's a lot that you can also find out from the building department, so feel free to reach out to the planning and zoning, asking them the setbacks for the property. Once you have a survey, you can also look at things like an easement, and it's important to find out the easements and the setbacks of that particular lot, plus the house that you want to build, so we can make sure that one fits in the other. We can absolutely help you with every single one of those items and help you each step of the way, so when you're ready, just give our team a call and we'd be happy to help.